All right, hi there, folks. In this lesson, I wanted to continue talking about WX widgets and do another install, uh, not from the latest development release here, but from the latest uh, stable release in case folks are using an older version of WX widgets or just want to see another way to install. So I'm actually going to download and install this from source here. And let's go ahead and um, show this in the folder. And I'll go ahead and extract contents. So now that I've got my WX widgets downloaded, I'm just going to go ahead and extract this and I'll put it in my downloads folder and that's perfectly fine. Now the instructions that I'm going to be using um, are for uh, GTK platform here. So we can look at the build instructions here. And there are some other ways to build, for example, um, using the X windowing system. Um, so you might want to take a look at some of these um, depending on the platform that you're using. Obviously today is a Linux lesson. Um, and I'll follow these. So here's the build and install instructions that'll be following. Now, something also uh, of interest here may be to look at um, on some of the uh, introduction pages um, and just kind of to, to read along and to see um, how to sort of get started with um, WX widgets again here. Um, so, the programming guide, I think, of particular uh, interest to folks will be, of course, this installing WX widgets here, uh, building from source, verifying that install work, and so on. Uh, there are, on the newer versions, uh, CMake build instructions. So again, I know I'm clicking through these pages fast, but just want to know that they're available, and of course, that you can search for them. So anyways, let me go back and just show you how to install WX widgets, and then uh, show you again that we want to do this under Linux. Uh, new systems, and I'm going to be following these uh, instructions here. Okay, so let me go ahead and open up my terminal. I'm going to see into the WX widgets directory here, and I'm just going to make a directory here called Linux build. Uh, again, I could do this outside the directory. Uh, this is fine for now, uh, and I'm going to just follow along here, configure, and with uh, GTK. So I'll go ahead and do this, and it'll just take a moment or so to build some integration files. Now again, this version of WX widgets that I'm using um, does not have a CMake list file, so you might have to use the configure tool. Um, so that's probably more relevant if you're on a Linux or a Mac system. Um, now, if you do get any errors when you're scrolling through here, you might be missing some dependencies. For example, you may have to do sudo apt git install uh, and then something like lib uh, gtk plus uh, 3o um, dash dev or something like that. This is what it'll look like. Um, and if you do have to install any libraries, just to note that you probably want dev versions uh, for the particular libraries because that includes all the setup files uh, that you need. Okay, so now that we have this installed, I'm going to run the make command. Uh, I'm actually going to do a parallel build here so that it builds um, on my system utilizing uh, 16 cores. And you'll see that this goes by significantly faster um, if you're able to do a parallel build. And again, my recommendation is for folks, if they do run into errors, to just run make a single core build. Because on occasion, when I've done parallel builds in the past, um, there might be some dependency issues with the order that these files are getting built in. But I think WX widgets is pretty well tested, so parallel builds will work okay. Um, so again, you can even see some warnings that are uh, flashing by here. Um, that's okay, though. Um, this is a stable build, so I'm going to trust that this is building <laughs> for now here. Okay, and we'll just give that um, a few moments or so um, to... Okay, so I let that run in the background for about another minute or so on my system, so it doesn't take too long overall to build. Um, and see all the output here. Uh, if I do an ls in this directory, you're going to see a lot of different object files were actually um, built here. Uh, so I'll kind of keep scrolling through here, and here are all the uh, WX libraries. Um, so pretty uh, neat to see that. Now there is one tool I'm going to highlight here, WX config. Um, that's sort of an uh, important tool here. So if I actually uh, type this out here, I'll do that slash because it's an executable. Um, you will see that this is going to be a tool that's going to help us build. So what's neat about WX config, again, Linux or Mac users may be more used to this than, say, uh, Windows users who might be trying to use 
WX widgets um, in your system for whatever reason. And I can actually just run WX config, and then I can figure out all the libraries. Um, so you can see that this is in my downloads directory where I built um, WX here. Uh, or I can do CPP um, flags, for instance. And you'll see a dash capital I here, which is indicating the include directory is uh, this particular path here. And of course, I can combine these as well and get both options here. They can see that these are all the things that I'm going to pass to my compiler so that my compiler knows about where the headers are and libraries as well. Now, what we can do here so that we don't have to you know, reference this directory or be in this direct directory um, to use wx um, to dig is follow these uh, directions. So I'm going to go ahead and um, become the uh, super user here so I can make system changes. And let's make sure I uh, actually type out my password correctly. Uh, give that a few tries here, maybe one more try uh, to see if I can do it. If I can't, uh, actually just do sudo make install here. And there we go. Um, so now I should be able to say if I move up a directory, type in um, the wx config. And we can see that this is the version uh, that we built here, uh, 3.05. Um, in fact, let's see if there's an actual version flag here, 3.05, which is the staple version that I built here. Okay. Uh, and then uh, I could run ld um, config. Um, and actually, let me make sure that I'm back in the uh, same uh, directory here. Uh, and I'll say, can't create this because permission denied. Um, and again, I need to be super user. Pseudo, and there we go. Okay, so um, if you want to read a little bit about uh, what LD config is doing, it's setting up your dynamic linker here and sort of caching any of the shared libraries that you have uh, so that they're available for you. Okay, um, so um, with that said, um, let's go ahead and just move um, to my home directory, just some random location, and again, uh, run wx config and see that we can uh, do this. So now what I want to do is actually build a, a Hello World uh, program here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, split my window here using tmux and find my Hello World. So again, from the documentation here, uh, let's go ahead and uh, just go to our introduction here. Uh, figure out, you know, what WX is, some of the things that are available, um, and so on. And let's just go ahead and um, find in our programming guide the low world here. Okay. Again, we probably want to read through this, uh, understand the different pieces, uh, components, and you know, every application is going to have this uh, WX app. Uh, and this particular one, we're going to create a frame for our menu bar and um, add it to the items. But I don't care about that so much for now. Uh, I'll release some other lessons on WX here, but I just want to copy this source code and show you how to build it um, so that we can uh, get rolling here with uh, WX here. Uh, so I'm just going to create a WX uh, program here. Uh, I'll go ahead and paste it in and save this. And let's go ahead and try to compile our WX uh, program here. Uh, and again, I'm just going to sort of naively run this with G++, and you're going to notice that our headers are not there. Um, and that's because we need to include uh, with WX config uh, our CPT flags. So I'll go ahead and do this. Um, and you'll notice some um, symbols are undefined because, well, we found them in our header now, but we need to link them in. So that's where we have our libs. So I'll go ahead and hit enter here. Uh, and you'll go ahead and see that this um, now has built. Uh, whoops, let me go ahead and run this like such. And we have our WX program here. So we have a little menu bar, a help here with dialog and, and quit. Uh, so again, I'll just highlight again what that line was so you can see it uh, right here nice and clear. Uh, in fact, let me make this a uh, super big font uh, just in case anybody's having trouble reading uh, what we did. That's really all there is to WX. Uh, we've done a nice job building it from source. We have wconfig um, or wx config available to us. 
uh, and you know how to use this tool here for getting the actual include paths or the library paths here. Okay, so um, here it is, and I would highly recommend going further into uh, reading this tutorial and the programming guide. Um, it'll give us a few of the sort of conceptual ideas behind uh, WX, how it works, how it's built, uh, give you some intuition about how this tool is uh, working. Okay, so that's it for this uh, lesson here. Uh, I'll leave it at that, and hopefully that helps you get started building WX from scratch. Uh, the last thing that I will say, though, is um, if you don't want to build this from scratch, you can, um, for instance, do a you know, app git install um, and try to uh, just install WX um, you know, in this way. Uh, let's see if we can actually find it here. Uh, what will come up here? WX uh, widgets. Uh, oh, I guess that's not the actual. Uh, install, I think it's actually something like uh, lib wx uh, base or something like that. Um, anyway, you can sort of search for it. Um, if for some reason that you're not able to get everything installed, I think it's uh, 3.1 dev. Let's see if it'll actually find it. Here. Can't find it. That's okay. Uh, but that may be an alternative if you can't for some reason get the stable version to install. Uh, and then I have some other uh, videos, which maybe folks have seen about installing the latest version, uh, which has CMake. So it'll give you a few different configuration options uh, for you to check out. Anyway, I'll end the video there. And